Welcome, Cancer and Crosswalkers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general live reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. That means for you, this could resonate as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. What is the energy here for you? Regret, sorrow, remorse, or reliving past mistakes. Okay, so this person, they're thinking about how they feel they've done you wrong. Things they wish they could go back in time and do differently. We have third party. Something or someone, get it in the way, interference, addiction, codependency, or a karmic relationship. Comparison, trying to see the outcome. Will this make me happy? Am I good enough? Okay, we have deja vu. Feeling like you've met, remembering, instant connection, or love at first sight. We have vulnerability, weakness, loss of power, unable to hold back. Temptation, desire, manipulation, urge, or impulse. And future, planning, preparing, making changes, looking long term with you. So this person sees a future with you. They regret how they've treated you. They regret their past actions. They wish they could take it back. They want you to be really vulnerable with them. This person may uh, have self-esteem or self-worth issues. Some of that might stem from like a past third party or something or um, karmic partner. Doesn't Some of you, they may not still be with that person, but let's see. So how do you perceive this connection? How do you see this connection? Okay. How do you feel? How do you feel? What do you feel like needs to happen here? What advice is there for you? Okay, what is your person's thoughts about you? Their feelings. Their intentions. And actions. Out of the deck here is the star. This is Aquarius energy. We also have the Ace of Cups here, the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, Two of Swords, the world. I feel like this person's trying really hard to not fall in love or they've tried to really suppress these feelings that they have. Not because they don't feel like you're compatible or they don't like you or they don't want to move forward, but it's like they may have some kind of fears or insecurities. And like I say, I'll never justify anyone's negative actions, behaviors, etc. But the whole purpose of these readings is that you know how you feel. You are here to understand the other person or their perspective or their energy, their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions. Um, I feel like this person just wasn't ready for you know things to get serious. It may have caught them off, off guard. It may have caught them by surprise. But they feel a very strong connection here. Um, you feel it too. They see if they, they are seeing a future with you, but can you overcome this past obstacle? Because for some of you, you may not currently be in contact with this person or things have really changed. We have the death card. Scorpio, very strongly. Also Pisces, Aquarius. Could be any sign. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Like I said, some of you could see this as something that did come to an end. The thing is, though, is that you really did see a future with this person. You saw a lot of compatibility. You saw the potential for security. And I think that you really wanted to invest more into this connection, but it's like you didn't get the opportunity or you didn't get that chance. You might also feel like your person has a, like, um, a big uh, ego, a lot of pride. Like maybe they have a hard time when they are wrong or where they're at fault. Maybe they try too hard to impress you. Some of you might feel like this person um, has a hard time kind of opening up because they're afraid you're going to think differently of them or think less of them. What do you feel like needs to happen? Some of you, this could be long distance because like when I see three of wands, three of wands is about yearning, wishing, waiting, hoping, and anticipating. Like you see this person who has like arrived by boat, like they're waiting for their, per they're on the shore here waiting for their person to travel to them. So some of you, it could be coming together, traveling, or just meeting in the middle somewhere. Like maybe this person needs to come to you, whether you live in the same, you know, state, um, city, whatever. Um, they, it's just something about coming together. 
waiting for this opportunity, this person making an effort, taking action towards you. You don't want to be the one chasing after them. You need them to come to you. We're going to come back to advice, but I want to start looking at your person's energy and I also want to pull an oracle card. For some of you, no matter how long you've known this person with that deja vu energy, it just feels like you've always known each other. It feels really comfortable, feels really easy. You love their energy and vice versa. New love. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. We also have new love here. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings and released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So I think that's what it is. I think for some of you, I mean, this person could have been involved with someone, but I really don't get that for all of you. I feel like 80% of you, this is somebody who might have an ex that's still someone who affects them still. Even if they're not together, that memory, that pain, that disappointment, that hurt, it is something that has really held them back and they have to kind of let go of that and fully heal from it so that they're ready to kind of receive love and be able to move forward. And I think that this person may make a lot of comparisons, like things are just so different with you. Maybe they've been afraid of commitment because in the past they've been continuously burned in relationships. But with you, again, there's this comparison of you're different. There's something about you that just feels so right. Like I've known you my whole life where I feel like I can be vulnerable with you. I'm so drawn to you and I'm starting to see a future with you. A new person stirring your romantic feelings, true love. When this person thinks about you, we have that tower. So something could have happened where things fell apart between you and this person. And they're wondering, like, can we rebuild? Because the tower does feel really uncomfortable and very unexpected. Maybe they self-sabotaged in some way because you were growing closer. And again, they were afraid of their feelings. Very intense emotions here, but they weren't wanting to fall. They, they were trying to, like, prevent themselves, stop themselves, because they didn't want to end up getting hurt because they've been hurt time and time again. This person, like I said, there's energy of like holding back. At the same time, though, they don't want to let go of you. And I think, again, this putting things into perspective for this person of, I don't want to be without you. Intentions. I think they know this is going to be an uncomfortable discussion or conversation, but this person wants to come back towards you. They want to reconcile. They want to heal. They want to mend. And they, they, want, they want to tell you, I'm not going anywhere. Now, for some of you, this person definitely could be having financial struggles or financial difficulties. And you might be, like, really upset with this person. You might be really guarded against this person. But they're trying to, like, stay strong and, you know, hear you out and listen to everything and move forward. They're saying, I'm not going anywhere. Like, I I'll be patient. If you need time, I'll give you time. The thing is, Spirit is saying to reflect on the past. Um, as far as like advice. So what I mean by that is that there's a lot of hurt and disappointment here. And, you know, we can forgive, but we don't forget the past. I think your biggest fear is I don't want to keep repeating it. You know, are you going to keep bailing? Every time something gets hard, are you going to, are you going to out? Are you going to disappear? Or are you going to be consistent? Because you've been burned one too many times as well. You've both been hurt before. And I think that's, you know, part of it here is like there's a lot of potential for like healing between you and this person together. But it's like, stopping and like waiting and thinking and reflecting this person walked away from you in the past you knew they didn't want to do it but they did and you were left hurt disappointed to this person's like crying in the background here that's the five of cups back there and for some of you you might recognize that maybe this person has kind of ran from many relationships in the past or many commitments but with you, it's like they keep getting drawn back into you. They can't seem to let go. They just they, they want to move forward still. There's a wish, a fantasy, a dream, a desire. So this person's coming towards you. They're willing to be patient. They're hoping that you're going to hear them out. They're tr they are going to be honest that they need to heal from the past. That that's something that really has held them back a lot. That's something that has affected them. For some of them, it could have been like an ex or someone. They maybe they still have some kind of um, codependency or like debt or something too. Because again, I get this energy of like finances. Because like when I see this hangman, like see how he's like upside down, like all the coins are falling out of his pocket. So for some of you, it definitely could be that, you know, maybe this person is struggling financially. That's part of it. Maybe they feel a lot of shame also. Maybe they've been put down a lot in the past for this. But they want to come clean about this. They want to communicate. They want to move forward again. They're hoping they can heal this connection with you. This is about reunion. This is reconciliation. This is obviously they're giving you a lot to think about. Because this person has hurt you in the past and you don't want to keep repeating the past. You've been hurt too many times in the past. You recognize they're also wounded. 
you know, but can you work through it? Can you come back together? The opportunity is there, but there is still a lot to consider. Don't rush. I think really the advice here is reflect on the past, talk about the past. And if this person can be consistent and show you and prove to you, it's going to make you feel more confident in pursuing something. If they're willing to be patient and to give it time. Um, because none of these are like rushing, quick, it's like very slow, stable, like I'm here, I'm waiting. So that's what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.